Okay, welcome to the second semi-final. We already saw a huge upset in the first uh, semi-final. For the first time, anyone has ever beaten Ashish Shakya and Rohan Joshi together in one match. And by winning the first semi-final, Surbhi Bagga has reached her first final and the first finalist of this edition, followed uh, closely by Rohan Joshi. He lost by one point. And Shaq, one of the front runners, is out. Anirban, another front runner, is out. And Surubi and Rohan have reached the finals. By the time this final, this semi-final ends, we'll have two more uh, finalists. Let's start the second semi-final. Oh, uh, but before that, let's call all the contestants. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first contestant is, uh, like I said before, the previous semi-final, the best quizzing game of all time, probably. And he won that with a crazy Snapdragon answer in the end. Give it up for Kanan Gil. Hello, KV. Ready to quiz. Hi, no bullshit. Oh, no ready. bullshit. You, you have told me uh, in categoric terms, uh, ka fun Kanan doesn't win quiz. Okay, okay. No more fun. Only no. serious Kanan from now on. Serious Kanan. Let's see serious Kanan today. today. I'm ready. Serious Kanan is here. Uh, uh, our next contestant also had a, had a great uh, quarter final. Uh, had a great win, 70. I think the second highest score after Shakya 75 in the quarter final. Uh, give it up for Neville Shah. Namaskar. Hello, Neville. Hello. Hello, Kanan. What is this new fancy light now? I uh, switch it on and off for dramatic emphasis. <laughs> Not that you would care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, again, the next contestant is someone who had a crazy quarter final. Uh, the scores, I can't. Stop saying this was 32, 33, and 30. And he was the one with 33 uh, reached uh, along with Anirban from that quarter final. Give it up for Rahul Subramanian. Mute your answer. That was on purpose. <laughs> let's, start, let's, let's not waste time. Let's Good, man. I, I don't like all this. It, it's not, it's quizzing with the serious people, right? Let's do it. Yeah, man, let's go. Let's it's go. quizzing with the professional quizzers. There's, there's one more. No, there's one more boy, you know, in this group. Yeah. Get, yeah. get him in quick. Is it? Okay, quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh, someone who had a great comeback in his quarterfinal. He had zero in the first half, but had a like amazing second half. He got 30, won that half, and qualified along with Shaq from quarterfinal three. Give it up for Saurav Mehta. <laughs> okay, no time for all this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I get it. I'm the best. You love me. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Quizzing is best. Okay, fuck off. Everyone, let's start. Everyone, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. You're going to start with question two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you're wasting too much time for question one. No, no time for question one. <laughs> I pass. No country for question one. <laughs> Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda. Okay, let's start the second semi final. All the best. Let's have fun. Kanan, Neville, Rahul, Saurav. You all know how this was. 24 questions. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Come on, buddy. We're serious. <laughs> First 12 <laughs> questions. Not, the order. Do the final order. score, man. We do the final score. <laughs> yeah, just. You already told us the order. It's Kanan, Neville, Subhu, and then me. So we're kind of done with this quiz anyway. Come on. Uh, cool. Let's just begin. to confirm, it's Kanan, me, Rahul, Saurav, and then Saurav, Rahul, Kanan, me. Me, Kanan. No. Kanan, Kanan, me. Uh, Saurav, Rahul, Nehru. I'm fucking with you, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Being sincere. Uh, okay, start. Shalo. Let's begin the semi-final. Uh, first question will be a direct for Kanan. Kanan, X was a Carthaginian military commander during the Punic Wars, who in the early 2nd century BC led numerous devastating attacks against the Roman Empire. To the people of Rome, the threat of an attack from X soon made him something of a bogeyman. And as a result, Roman parents would often tell their unruly children that X ad portas or X is at the gates in order to scare them into behaving properly. Who is X? Gabbar is swig Swiggy. Gabbar, Gabbar. Gabbar, yes. Swiggy. <laughs> Swiggy is at the gates. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it Hannibal? Is it? It is Hannibal. Yes. Yeah. Hannibal is at the gates. Hannibal is correct. Kanan gets 10 points. It is Hannibal. Good photo. Good photo. Good photo. Good reference. Yes. Mm -hmm. 10 points there to Kanan for Hannibal. And we go to Neville now. Neville, this is a top 10 of something. Or number one is James Buchanan. Number two is Andrew Johnson. Number three is Franklin Pierce. Number four is dash dash dash. 
Number five is William Henry Harrison. Number six is John Tyler. Number seven is Millard Fillmore. Number eight is Warren G. Harding. Number nine is Herbert Hoover. Number 10 is Zachary Taylor. The above is a ranking based on a survey conducted by C-SPAN. I need two things from you. What is this a ranking of? And who is missing from this list? Like, do you want it to be like a <clears throat> specific? <laughs> yeah. all, you, want, are, you want specific yeah. answers? Okay. Because they're all obviously, they're obviously one thing. I'm just trying to figure out, like, is there in that also, like, is there a specific thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ranking is something specific. The survey was done to find something specific. Yeah. A quest, specific question ka answer milne ke baad ka nahi, sir. <laughs> Specific silence. Like, I'll be silent very specifically. Yeah, sleep. Uh, do you make uh, tiramisu without sugar? Yeah, we do. Okay, I'll get back to you. Are, so order karna, sir. And this is exactly what Rahul does in restaurant. <laughs> like, what is this? Okay, I'll tell you later. I was just asking. I was just asking. Good to know. We don't eat here. No, we have come to eat here. We have come to eat here. Um... It's a list of... U.S. presidents that did something. Uh, it's a list of the most popular U.S. No, but then correct. <laughs> fair, fair, yeah. Most popular Republicans who went on to be presidents. Is that a fair enough thing to ask? Mm, no. That's not the funda. Any can I still yes, attempt? Can I still yeah. attempt? You can still attempt the blank, yes. Um, so it's not oh, fuck, now my or was Kennedy, but Donald Trump. Um okay, Donald Trump is correct, but funda is incorrect. I'll give you part points for Donald Trump. I'm going to Rahul only. Now you know this is the top 10. Number 4 is Donald Trump. Is it what Donald Trump? <laughs> so what do you think the funda is? I think uh, presidents who had just one term. Uh, no. Going to Saurav. Hey, is it uh, the worst US president? Yes. Ranking of that worst is correct. US yes. Oh. Ah. Yeah, Otherwise but, you will not yeah, need but. a survey for like factual things. So they had okay. a survey yeah. on like the worst yeah. presidents in American history. These are the top 10 worst presidents in American history. Holy shit. Who was number one? James John, Buchanan. John Buchanan. My God. James yeah. Buchanan. yeah. And uh, Andrew Johnson, of course. But technically, whole... shouldn't Herbert Hoover be way up on the list because he got them into depression? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Harding, Hoover both contributed. Andrew Johnson basically did the whole anti-Aboriginal, anti-Indian thing. So yeah. all, James Buchanan was, again, very corrupt, slave, like very racist. Achha. What's wrong in that? I thought they were all Republicans for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to give four to Neville for Donald Trump and uh, six to Saurabh. Oh my God. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Okay. Saurabh gets six, which means next year will be Kanan's. Kanan, a surprising ingredient can be found in X. X is largely crafted from unremarkable building materials like earth and stone. More interestingly, glutinous rice, known colloquially as sticky rice, was incorporated into the mortar recipe thanks to its cohesive properties. Modern studies have indicated that the amylopectin of the rice, the same substance that makes it sticky, helps explain X's strength and endurance. What celebrated achievement of human ingenuity are we talking about? Please allow us to carry dictionaries for next quizzing. Okay. What is Avelo Pistetere? Yeah. Which what does an ingredient mean? Yeah. And a? Uh, what is a? Uh? <laughs> uh. But you actually, can you tell us what is Avelo? Of it's, a, it's, it's, it's what like basically it's some substance in rice that makes it sticky. Okay. So X is a structure. Yeah. Okay. 
the next is strength and endurance yeah is it the pyramid not the pyramids going ah. to neville it's the great wall of china it's the great wall of china 10 points yeah sticky Arey, rice yeah. sticky rice might take you to china and then great wall of china that is kya baat hai kya baat hai kya baat hai they will get 10 points and i go to rahul for the next day. rahul is a brand question indian company indian brand the company x was founded in the year 1972 by hk firodia xy is their product so it's like company name and one of their product name xy was introduced in 1972 and was a licensed copy of pajo chao uh, besides conventional advertising featuring actors such as shabana azmi and smita patel in the 1970s they gave xy so they gave this product as a trophy to the player of the match winners at key domestic cricket tournaments and to toppers of the state secondary school certificate or ssc board exams in states such as maharashtra but the brand is probably remembered for the 1980s marketing where characters such as ram murari a government employee ravi kumar a trader and radha a medical student who were part of the campaign were people viewers could relate to so essentially what mm-hmm. product are we talking about so x is the company y is the product so it would be like that right like that's how it would be right yeah yeah it's like uh, sony walkman like that sony walkman yeah yeah like that considering i have one key domestic cricket tournaments and have been a topper i should have known this. <laughs> <laughs> so natraj pencils not natraj pencil going to saurav Very funny fun fact. Ram Muari is my dad, uh, and the answer I have is: is it the Bajaj scooter? Ah, uh, no. Going to Kanan. Is it Hero Luna? Or Hero is the company, and it's okay. a it's a moped, the Luna. I'll I'll just go say it's a Hero moped. I keep that one till I'll take I'll take parts. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm in the area. I'm, I'm in the come... area. I'm, I'll come back to you. Going to Neville. Wait one, one minute. You're, you're going to come back to Kanan. Yeah. yeah. To give me points, but he's just feeling bad for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and his answer was hero moped and in the area. No, Kanan. What was your answer? <clears throat> I I said let Neville think. Neville, Neville, Neville. Yes, no, Kanan. Anyway, I'm stuck on two options. I'll show you. Yeah. See now, this is answer. Okay, fine. I said the company is hero. And then I said moped, but moped is a kind of vehicle. And then I said Luna, and so you consider any of that for X or Y. <laughs> okay, so I haven't reacted to that. I've gone to Neville. Okay, <coughs> oh, Anil Bal is back. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> proper. <laughs> I've been messing Anil Bal about how to how to play this. <laughs> He's been telling me Anil Bal tactics. <laughs> okay, so thanks to that, Premier Padmani is out. Yeah. So. Now, uh, oh, Premier Padmini was the answer. Never, you just didn't have the courage to say it. <laughs> now you, now you'll never know. Now so KV has uh, has uh, appropriately nodded, <laughs> uh, uh, or maybe it was a ruse. Fuck. Uh, and half the quizzing is guessing KV's body language and all. Ajo came to India with C ad. I like people who think aloud. Sorry. Yeah. I'm last day after this. He'll give a hint anyway. So, uh, okay. I'm just going to guess with the second option. Is it the kinetic Honda? Oh man. Hmm. Uh, hmm. But you don't want to come back to Subbu and I. We want. No, no. I also. will. I will uh, <laughs> <laughs> not go back. Uh, just a mix of things up. that Neville and Kanan have said, and everything is together. Oh, right oh I can I improve my answer? Yeah. yeah. No, no. But yeah. I will okay. give more points to uh, Kanan. Kanan because uh, Luna oh, is the answer I was looking for. And kinetic. Oh. I went to Kanan oh. only to find kinetic. Wow. Kinetic. <laughs> and then Neville oh. said kinetic Honda. <laughs> so Luna is the product basically. <laughs> oh, oh my god. And Luna. Company yeah. Kinetic was started by Ishkit. Yeah. Kinetic Luna, oh. and then they had this great, which Neville will love. Piyush Pandey is one of his very first yeah. campaign was Safalta ki Sawari, 
and that's why you know all these successful people like man of match or like school toppers were oh, given wow. and then okay, okay. chalmeri luna is their icon chalmeri luna and came chalmeri. and then when Ch- but with when he said luna and then you said hero pay something and i was like mm-hmm. wait hero honda so he's fucked up hero so maybe um, <laughs> फिल्म The film was made quickly on a tight schedule, and with a budget much more constrained than what we commonly associate with action movies today. As a result, Heller and Ventrob had to start concerning themselves with getting sets built in Hong Kong, even before Michael Allen's script was completely finalized. To do that, Heller looked to his childhood and to a comic strip about adventures in China that he had loved, Terry and the Pirates. it was high chroma reds blues golds and it just lent itself to this project so closely heller said so with terry and the pirates in mind heller began working with a sketch artist to design various sets including hans abbe yaar mere ko to aata mere ko kyun nahi aata yaar kabhi question the banquet hall on the island and other key areas of hans domain from there the sketches were turned over to set builders in hong kong and construction was underway Which 1973 film are we talking about? Pass कर, Neville, pass कर. अच्छे दिल वाला बात. तुझे तेरे को पक्का आता है ना तो मैं सोच नहीं रहा हूँ. मत सोच. Enter the dragon. Yes, that is correct. Uh, mm. Enter the dragon. मेरे को पूछेगा musician का दादा कौन है? I know. I sighed only because <laughs> Ra- the only category Rahul like abhors is music, and I mm. know <laughs> the next question is the proper is music. <laughs> And oh and I'm like, like, oh fuck, ये question Rahul को आएगा Rahul भी like fuck साला music मुझे नहीं आता. But yeah, never got. मेरा नाम मेरे को हमेशा first या fourth नहीं मिलता मैं कि बीच में रहता हूँ हमेशा ये problem है. मेरा नाम सुबू है आज से. लोग मैं बहुत बार fourth रह चुका हूँ सुबू. It doesn't help. Sorry, everything is not about you. I'm just saying, buddy. <laughs> okay, Rahul, so sorry, but this is your direct. Uh, a number of well-known. <laughs> A number of well-known public figures hold patents for various innovations. For instance, our guy X. Part of Guitar Wizard's X's signature sound was his two-handed tapping technique. But letting all ten fingers fly while simultaneously holding up the guitar's neck could be a bit tricky. So X came up with a novel way to get around this problem. Though he invented a support that you can see in the image. A support that could flip out of the back of his axis body to raise and stabilize the fretboard, so he could tap out hearing songs like "Eruption." While X was obviously interested in improving his guitar work, the patent application he filed in 1985 notes that the device would work with any stringed instrument. Often regarded as one of the greatest guitar players in rock history, who are we talking about? Joseph Mascarenhas from Rock on Two. <laughs> <laughs> Is is that the John Abraham character? No, that's Arjun, Arjun Rampal. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Arjun Rampal. Same, same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There was a time when they were quite homogenous. Now they went all out quite significantly. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Anand, but you know this, no? Hundred percent. So, the message can now. Okay, I'll message you on Google. Pay. Then you can find it. Tell me. <laughs> मुझे कोई कुछ नहीं पता कर्ट को बेन जा एंजॉय कर जा एंजॉय कर कर्ट को बेन मर गया वो कुछ साल ओके गोइंग गोइंग टू सौरव वी ओनली वन पर्सन आई नो इज इट हिम अ स्लैश नॉट स्लैश गोइंग टू कनन एडी वैन हेलेन इट इज एडी वैन हेलेन इट इज वैन हेलेन एडी वैन हेलेन ओके Kanan gets ten points for Eddie Van Halen. Kanan, and... would you own some piece of memorabilia from this gentleman? Yeah, who owns? You, I'm asking you. No, dude, I don't. Then isn't it time that you went and did something about? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, now going to Neville. Uh, again, a film question. In the lead actor's <laughs> words, the film is non-political and thus non-judgmental. Brahmastra. <laughs> Nevertheless. 
CNN Crossfire debated whether the film promoted conservative values or was an indictment of the counterculture movement of the 1960s. Thomas Bias in a modern fiction studies article called the film an aggressively conservative film. It has been noted that while X follows a very conservative lifestyle, Y's life, so Y is another character from the film, Y's life is full of countercultural embrace, complete with drug usage, promiscuity and anti-war rallies. Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Wong also notes the film's screenwriter Eric Roth, when developing the screenplay from the novel, had transferred all of X's flaws and most of the excesses committed by Americans in the 1960s and 70s to Y. Which film are we talking about? Is this Forrest Gump? It is Forrest Gump. That is oh, correct. Wow. Ten point wow. There. Great answer. Great answer. It is Forrest Gump. So obviously all now everything with Forrest Gump lives a very conservative estate, but Jane follows follow these things. So the answer is Forrest Gump. Okay, going to Rahul now. Rahul, very one of the shorter questions. <laughs> Baby <Washington>. question. <laughs> then very, I want to say like very <laughs> direct kind of a question. Washington <laughs> Irvin was the first person to call New York City something in text. You were the first person who used a certain word for New York City. It's a reference to a story from the Middle Ages about a town called X, meaning goat's town in old Anglo-Saxon that was full of fools. What word, what one word answer are we looking for? Yanks. Not Yanks, going to Saurav. It is one word, right? Yeah. This is probably wrong, but only thing I can think of. Manhattan. Not Manhattan. Going to Kanan. Is it Big Apple? Big Apple. Big Apple. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, is, is it probably wrong? Is it Gamora? No. Going to Neville. Okay. Is it Burroughs? Not Burroughs. Okay. We'll give a hint. Start again with Rahul. Make it a five-point question. So the hint is DC Comics. And then read the question again and look up. I'm looking for a one word answer for New Gotham. York. Gotham. Gotham. Yes, that is correct. Five point there to Rahul. From the old word <laughs> Goat's Town, which is Goat Ham. Gotham. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Gotham. 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 Okay. Next direct will be to Saurav. Saurav Mehta. Completed in 1870. X is one of the only 145 monuments protected by India's government and the oldest library in Mumbai. One of its most famous features is a beautiful garden in the back, a rare site in the commercial area in which it is located. The library and reading room was, uh, were originally intended to be an entire institute dedicated to mechanics, science and technology, but funding ran short. The Dash Mechanics Institute was renamed X and Reading Room after its primary donor. So it's named after its primary donor. What iconic Mumbai oh. land? Oh, good. Oh, oh. Oh. What okay. iconic Mumbai landmark are we talking about? This Dash Mechanics Institute is irrelevant. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the Dash Mechanics Institute was his name. Yeah. The Dash is the donor's name. Which is also part I of tell you, uh, X's name or X? Okay, one second. No? The Dash Mechanics the landmark is named after X. Is yeah, yeah. You can named after a person. So person's name is part of the answer. Okay, okay, okay. So this is still an operational library, right? Yeah. Take your time, Saurav. <laughs> okay, Saurav. Yeah. Uh, but you, this one thing, sorry, I was wrong when you would get a uh, Tata. Uh, not Tata Library. <laughs> not, Tata Tata Library. <laughs> not Tata Library. Going to Kanan. Is it a Sassoon Library? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. 10 points there to Kanan. It is Our, almost a membership. David library. Sassoon Library. One yeah. of India's most famous library. David Sassoon Library and Reading Room. Also a heritage structure. 10 points to Kanan and that brings us to the end of the first half. Let's take a look at the score. Kanan on the back of Hannibal. Seven points for um, Kinetic Luna. Uh, Ten each for uh, Eddie Van Halen and David Sassoon Library. 
is on 37. Uh, Neville with four on uh, Donald Trump, 10 on Great Wall of China, three on Kinetic, 10 each on Enter the Dragon and Forrest Gump is also on exactly 37. Rahul yeah, has five yeah, from yeah. Gotham and Saurav has six from yeah. worst worst president yeah. from uh, American history. Sorry. Fuck you, Rahul. Just emotions got the better of me. No, Saurav, I'm going to second half. Yeah, both of them. One of them is going to beat one of them. Second, yeah. second, well, second half. Complacent, now I'm going to show you. Second half, the order will reverse. The order will now be Saurav, yeah. Rahul. This is how it started. Okay, Saurav, this will be your direct. X attacks on humans are seldom fatal. It is believed that Theodore Roosevelt contributed to their scary reputation. During his travels in the Amazon, Roosevelt heard tales of the X's vicious nature and recounted them in his book called Through the Brazilian Wilderness. Roosevelt wrote, They are the most ferocious dash in the world. They will snap a finger of a hand inconsciously trailed in the water. They mutilate swimmers. They will rend and devour alive any wounded man or beast, for blood in the water excites them to madness. His descriptions, which echoed earlier accounts, convinced the public that X's are wildly aggressive man-eating river monsters. But as scientists now know, this characterization is false. What are we talking about? Is it uh, lifestyle okay, influences? <laughs> Travel and lifestyle influences? <laughs> Last one, I took a lot of time and gave the wrong answer. So this time I would like to take less time and give the wrong answer. Or is it whales? Sort of this is... Sorry? Whales. Not whales. Uh, going to Rahul. Sharks. Not sharks. Going, oh, yes, to, going to Neville. Piranhas. 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 Yes. Yeah. 10 points there to Neville. We are talking about Okay, piranhas. okay. No worries. Our strategy is working well, Subhu. He's getting more <laughs> complacent. <laughs> Give them some more. Yeah. But uh, they don't realize, uh, because of our whales and sharks, he could go to Piranhas. So, yeah. Yeah, they go, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. But I mean, Pakka has a 30 minute or so. Neil Armstrong moon points to any other rocket. Next is Kanan's Derek. <laughs> the first known use of X was, in, was as an attempt to save the life of a US president. James Garfield had been shot in July 1881. The bullet was lodged somewhere in the president's back and couldn't be located by the attending doctors. Alexander Graham Bell, a visitor to the stricken Garfield, quickly developed a X with the purpose of finding the bullet. Unfortunately, the dash in the mattress Garfield was lying on confused the X, or so Bell would later claim. And the president died of an infection in the wound that September. What are we talking about? What exactly, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, there's two options. Always so, choose the correct one, Kana. Let me give you a correct one. I don't know, man. Yeah. I feel like you guys are being too complacent. Yeah. <laughs> right, one with your right hand and one with your left hand, and then choose the right one. But I am the left handed. Uh, That's, why. That's why. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> uh, so I am going to say metal detector. Metal detector. That is correct. Yeah. Ten points there. Yeah. To, uh, <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, wow. I was I was confused with metal detector and X-ray machine because yeah. they both sort of valid. But, you know, the, yeah, mm. left is the metal detector he developed. Uh, Thomas. Uh, Lol. Yeah. <laughs> okay, going to Saurav now with an Oscar like a movie question. One of oh, the man. most memorable Love moments. You. One of the most memorable moments in Academy Awards history is the tie for Best Actress in the year 1969. Probably the best-known Oscars tie, this was the second and last time an acting award was split. When presenter Ingrid Bergman opened up the envelope, she discovered a tie between newcomer X and two-time Oscar winner Y. Both received 3,030 votes. X, who was 26 years old, 
tied with the 61 year old the lion in winter star who had already been nominated 10 times in her lengthy career and won the best actress oscar the previous year for guess who is coming to dinner why was not in attendance so all eyes fell on funny girl winner x who gave an inspired speech hello gorgeous she famously said to the statuette echoing her first line in the movie funny girl i want these two actresses why who is the older 10 times nominated to third oscar for three points and the second for seven points is this new newcomer then with 26 year old winning her first oscar for the movie called funny girl jaya bachchan and kajol <laughs> nice confidently he can make that joke <laughs> <laughs> I am. I told KV yesterday. I'm going to say things so confidently he's going to get confused. Mm-hmm. Um, just trying to remember one old white actress's name. But it is probably wrong. But I have nothing, so don't want to waste time. Uh, is the younger one Meryl Streep? Uh, it's a uh, yeah. Okay. Any guesses on why? Uh, you know what? No. Okay, <laughs> no passing to Rahul for both. Both are wrong. I was yeah. Good job, Rahul. Come on. Ah, buy me answer. Buy me a Sharon Stone. Not Sharon Stone. And I answer me. 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 मैं और बुढ़ी सोच रहा था शेर ही याद आया मुझे शेर ने तो शेर सी यू वांटेड मूवी क्वेश्चन आई वांट मूवी क्वेश्चन आई कांट नो आई वांट द वन इन विच आई नो द आंसर ओह सॉरी यार ये क्लियरली बोलना था पहले सॉरी सैरेन स्टोन एंड पास तो नो नॉट सैरेन स्टोन गोइंग टू नेविल सो वन इज गेस हुस कमिंग टू डिनर इज कैथरीन हेबर्न यस Three points there. Obviously, that is correct. Who mar ka bhi erase? Catherine Hepburn is correct. Three points there. Now, he was fifty-seven years old. Ex- Sterling Sterling Theatre me dekha tha usne first. New <laughs> <laughs> excels here. Uh, I don't. Is it Jane Fonda's two words for this? Is it Diane Keaton? Not Diane Keaton. So I'm giving three to Neville for uh, Catherine Hepburn going to Canaan. Only for X. I'm going to guess Audrey Hepburn. Not Audrey Hepburn. Okay, we'll do one more round, starting with Saurav. Saurav, this uh, now for three point five points. Uh, for only X, Saurav, the hint for all four of you is this person is an EGOT winner. Like she has won an Emmy, she has won a Grammy, she has won an Oscar, and she has won a Tony. So she's a legend in like all four worlds. Okay, like, but TV, clearly she didn't do enough. Because we don't know. <laughs> TV, music, uh, cinema, and theater. I'm generally just trying to remember some names so that I can at least guess. Uh, the only name coming in my head right now, but Marilyn Monroe. Not Marilyn Monroe. Going to Rahul. Who is that? Good guess, Rahul. Jane's grandma. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> को पता नहीं है उसके पास गया है तो अभी तक नहीं नहीं पता है She was a runner of a serious girl. <laughs> Again, this age mismatch is not making sense to me. But <laughs> is it Whitney Houston? Not Whitney Houston. Going to Kanan. Ah, uh, okay. No, I don't know, dude. Is it um, um, Judy Garland? No, not Judy Garland. Okay, so just three. Who? 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 Who?
थ्री टू नेविल फॉर कैथरीन हेब्बन दी अदर एक्टर इज बाबरा स्ट्राइसन कौन है इन दोनों में से बाबर अच्छा ये वाली बाबर आजम बाबरा स्ट्राइसन स्कूल वन हु वाज अ यंग ट्वेंटी सिक्स इयर ओल्ड व्हेन शी वन दिस ओके कैथरीन हेब्बन गोट थ्री पॉइंट्स टू नेविल व्हिच मींस द नेक्स्ट डायरेक्ट विल बी टू कनन excess p out of their faces the urine comes from glands located near the crustaceans antennae as bob bear the former head of the university of maine's x institute told a few years ago they are greenish brown spots they actually look like two pieces of snot that's the best way to describe them you would have to open them up to see them peeing at one another is part of both fighting and courtship for the crustaceans Which creature are we talking about? ये कंफ्यूज नहीं होते क्या ये क्यों मूत्र है मेरे पे डोंट गो लाइक वेट आई यू हॉनी और आई यू एंग्री आई फील आई फील पीट ऑन योर फेस द फीलिंग इज नॉट कंफ्यूजन में क्यों होता है है हो क्या रहा है? हो क्या रहा रहा यहाँ पर ये मजाक चल रहा है चल कना न्यू नो दी आंसर टू मेन वो में क्यों मोता भाई अरे प्यार है रे मेरा प्यार है <laughs> I'm confused between two. और वेजिटेरियन डोंट एक्ट स्मार्ट नो आई एम गोइंग से लॉबस्टर लॉबस्टर इज करेक्ट टेन पॉइंट दूसरा क्या क्रैब आल्सो ब्रो क्रैब यू डोंट नो क्रैब नो नो मेन नो मेन इज अ गुड मेन इज लॉबस्टर दैट्स व्हाई या 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 ओनली मेन लॉबस्टर यार एक वेजिटेरियन क्वेश्चन पूछ दे मैं हम मचा दूं दिस वाज सौरव सौरव आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सर्टेन वर्ड नाउ इट्स अ वन वर्ड आंसर हां कोल्ड हार्टेड मतलब तेरे को द मोस्ट फेमस एक्स इज अ कोल्ड हार्टेड हाइपर इंटेलिजेंट एडवर्सरी ऑफ सुपरमैन who first appeared as an alien in dc comics action comic number 242 the super duel in space in 1958 but after releasing his first adventure dc comics discovered that the name was already in use for a do it yourself computer kit in deference to the kit x was turned into a computer personality and became the great villain as now the other use of the word as a nickname for an expert or intellectual his and the kit's name slipped into more general use in english by the early 1970s what's the word that is informally used for an exceptionally intelligent person that we are talking about so one word usually used to refer to exceptionally intelligent person but this is the origin the origin is from a dc comics villain uh, and also when they released it they realized there is a computer kit named after which has the same name so they sort of changed that villain a little bit but what's the word that we are looking at one word and the origin of this word is from dc comics hmm okay what is a computer personality they changed him into this uh, basically a computer personality made it more com- computer Achha. in the sense that <laughs> earlier he was just a villain then they added lot of computer elements to him so okay like a hard drive yeah acha <laughs> Like so came from a motherboard, you know that kind of. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's an son of MS in DOS. Yeah. <laughs> Excelled in life. Very <laughs> nice. Please stop cracking basic jokes. Oh, hey, nice. Hey. Don't have a chip on your shoulder, Nathan. What do you say? What you are doing? What do you say? What do you say? और इतना सीरियस क्यों है यार ये तो ऐसा लग रहा है कि मुझे आना चाहिए फाइनली वन क्वेश्चन बट एकदम माय सिस्टम इज शटिंग डाउन तो ऐसा कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा मुझे पर जस्ट 2 सेकंड्स ओके केवी देन आई पास या 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 2 सेकंड्स देन आई पास द आंसर मैं कर दूं सॉरी कर इट भी कनन को भी पता है नेविल को भी पता है हां ऑफ कोर्स यार शुगर ओह मैं ऑलरेडी शाम का प्लान डिसाइड कर रहा कहां जाने कहां जाओ इधर कहां जाएगा राहुल कहां जाएगा राहुल देयर इज अ आई नो यू सेड वन वर्ड बट दिस इज द ओनली थिंग आई हैव सो स्मार्ट एलेक्स नॉट स्मार्ट एलेक्स गोइंग टू राहुल यू वाज अ विलेंस नेम 
hero is superman but the one word villain name or it's ah. like like is it like dwayne bravo types that is also one word <laughs> dwayne bravo oh, what is it no no word. but i know no no, no. one <laughs> word only one word only one word hmm do mere ko ek hi superman villain pata hai kyunki ye dc wale acche picture to nikal le rahe hain ha but wo do word hai nahi us type ki no it's not that one it's not that one okay it's not that one हिस्ट्री में पढ़ा अच्छा फिर तो सही <laughs> okay, Neville. Considering I have zero clue about these superhero things. ये सब बोल के करेक्ट आंसर दिया ना यहाँ से थप्पड़ लगा ऐसे ही थप्पड़ लगा Is it is it genius? Not genius. Going to Kanan. It's brainiac. It's brainiac. That is correct. Kanan gets it. The word. अभी बार यूज़ करते हैं ना सौरव ये तो वर्ड हम लोग उट <laughs> 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 for this nbc late night host before hitting it big who are we talking about which comedy legend who's known for nbc late night host and lot of these guys interned with him are we talking about the sarav you don't know this the three four ones that i know and hopefully i'll choose the right one okay milan yeah, soman okay. soman milan <laughs> soman shekar <laughs> <laughs> उतना उनको लगा शायद नहीं समझेगा लोगों को मेरी और उनको लग रहा होगा बाई चांस होस्ट चेंज करना पड़ा तो फिर प्रॉब्लम होता है के लिए दे कैन ओनली गो टू शेखर कपूर और ऑप्शन ही नहीं होता उनके पास शेखर धवन और शेखर धवन और चंद्रशेखर प्लीज एक एलिमिनेट करके दे मेरे लिए सोनो आंसर हाँ वही इसलिए तो प्रॉब्लम है ना एक सेकेंड दो तीन ही तो आंसर है Though for the first time I have two options, and I think both might be correct. Uh, I mean, in the yeah. sense that one will be correct. Sorry, not both. Or uh, both are not. Both. Or I'll, I'll give you a. I'll give you a hint. Oh, that's the answer. Bola, that's the answer. Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Not Jay Leno. Going to oh Rahul now. Rahul Jay Leno is eliminated now. Look, I smell like a late night host. Na. Okay. Hera. Hmm. That means not morning for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. अभी भी मेरे पास दो है रे एक बहुत बुढ़ा है एक थोड़ा कम बुढ़ा है एक ही होना चाहिए सोच एक टू नाइट शो नहीं लिखा है लेट नाइट लिखा है सोच सौरभ इज इट डेविड लेटरमैन नॉट डेविड अरे हाउ केन हाउ केन इट बी डू हाउ केन इट बी ओनर शो का गिफ्ट टू टू रॉक आर्टिस्ट बट डेविड लेटरमैन होस्टेड द लेट नाइट शो इट्स कोनन कोनन Conan O'Brien. Conan. Yes, that is oh. correct. It is Conan. Conan. Yeah. Literally Conan. Conan and Jay Leno do. Ah. Right, so Saurav, my hint to you was going to be go with the one you like more as a comic, and you would have said Conan. Oh shit, dude. I thought Carson also thought that. Ah. Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien. NBC, of course. Late night with Conan O'Brien. Tonight show with Conan O'Brien. Ten to Neville. Which is not legend, no. Which is fair for Conan, but I just thought. Yeah. Because of his. अभी बहुत लग रहा है कोई बात नहीं ओके कनन 
thin genesophobia is the irrational fear of excess like girlfriend <laughs> boyfriend <laughs> someone <laughs> someone suffering from this condition can expect to experience a very high amount of anxiety from merely thinking of excess let alone actually seeing them in fact their anxiety may be so intense that they may even endure a full blown panic attack as a result of it what is thin gene so phobia a fear of which tends to flare up during the holidays which holidays just holidays any holiday are any holidays any holiday are pongal <laughs> most holidays it flares up besakhi yeah yeah ha matlab most holidays it, the probability to flare up is more oh fuck okay then that's it Okay, I'm thinking about this completely. You know, any holidays, this flares up. You are saying categorically. You don't mean holidays in the Western sense of Christmas, New Year. You mean any, even Indian holidays are holidays. Navratri. Yeah. Okay. Navratri, Diwali, hmm. Holi. What okay. rain? Okay. Chutti. <laughs> okay. What rain? Okay. Chutti. Oh my God, those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes during monsoon, I wake up like, "Ah, so rain is coming." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to go into work. Uh, is it? Is it? Uh, I. I. Uh, shit. Should I think a little more, or should I just answer? Bol the rate, please. Bol na. Uh, up to you. Based on what Rahul and Saurav say, I'll think a little more, or I'll just say it. But if it's wrong, it's your fault. Say it, buddy. Please. But you are through already. Come on. Live is it fire, fire? Fireworks. Not fireworks. Going See, to. Now, fuck, you, fuck you, guys. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> going to Saurav now. राहुल यू कैन थिंक आफ्टर टेलिंग के जी नॉट टू थिंक के जी के पास दो हजार पॉइंट है That's also true, you know. Sorry, Matt. Sorry, I, I was being arrogant earlier. Please take your time. वो इतने पो shopping कर सकते हैं इतना points उसके लिए. Vistara mail book कर सकते हैं. Is it? तू भी मेरा दूसरा option तेरे को message करने जाओ ना. Oh fuck! I got it. Oh my god! Oh shit! Yeah, so you stupid. missed. So very stupid. important. This is because of Rahul and this sort of. I blame oh, them yeah. unilaterally. Mm-hmm. It's gettable or what, Kanan? Yeah, dude. Is it uh, the fear of seeing your relatives? Perfect answer. Yeah, perfect. Oh. The fear of relatives. Yeah. Seeing gene, 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 say gene. family, ah. like whatever. Should. मेरे को बहुत टाइम से boss और relatives में doubt था. मैं चूते के वहाँ पे कितने gifts लिख के बैठा है gifts. ऐसे सब चीजें बताने का नहीं तेरे को पता है मैंने क्या क्या लिखा है बता तो पागल कच्चा खिलाड़ी लग फियर ऑफ रिलेटिव टेन पॉइंट देयर टू राहुल आई एम गोइंग टू नेविल फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेविल काउंट कमियो एक्स गेट्स क्रेडिट फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस एपेरेटिव अराउंड 1919 As the story goes, X really loved to throw back an americano. See, americano was the name of a cocktail which had campari, sweet vermouth, and club soda. But he wanted a little extra zing in his glass. He asked a bartender to replace the club soda with gin to give the mixture some added kick. And this cocktail was born. The X was born. Which cocktail are we talking about? This is a martini. Not a martini. Going to Kanan. One second. Should have taken my time. Campari, sweet vermouth, and gin. <laughs> I thought vermouth, and I was like, maybe it's. ये क्या गंदा सा कॉकटेल. I swear, man. Uh... Oh, apple thief. Not. <laughs> Read the question. Mm. The Negroni. Negroni. Yes. Ten yeah. point there to Kanan. It is Negroni. <laughs> After thinking about it, I was like, oh no, they're actually very good. <laughs> Negroni. Yeah. Yes. 
that is correct Guys, i don't know you're allowed to say these words but okay Not one part right. jin one yeah. part vamat and one part campari uh, this is negroni okay 10 points to kanan and i now go to sarav sarav again one word answer i'm looking at a word different theories claim that on lists of ferry passenger or lists of university students and even on lists of guests at royal weddings the word x would once have been written beside the names of all those individuals who had been born sign nobi nobilitate or without nobility this is one theory of how this word came out but the oxford english dictionary rightly calls this theory ingenious but highly unlikely and instead suggests that the word was probably originally a slang nickname for shoemaker's apprentice then a general word for someone of poor background and finally a nickname for a pretentious or excess social climber what's the word I'm looking at a one word answer essentially first part is a theory about one of the theories of how it came but the oxford english dictionary says this is a creative theory but not necessarily right there is another theory to this and it usually now means pretentious or excess social climber and the origin original theory was that it came from sign nobilitate or without nobility ye kiska mera direct hai kya nahi na नहीं ये जल्दी आ आ आ रहा 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 नो 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 भाई मेरे को चाहिए टाइम सोचने को कुछ समझ में नहीं Wow, there's infighting. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the XY rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> who is the hero and who is the Honda? That is a real question. But you have to pass. Okay, passing to Rahul. When you say beside means after the name or before the name or ऐसा कुछ नहीं है. Used to refer to them basically. Hmm. ऐसा आगे पीछे का साइन नीचे और पेपर और कागज पेपर लगा देते रफ कॉपी या फेयर कॉपी ओ इज सिटीजन नॉट सिटीजन गोइंग टू नेविल इट्स नॉब यस दैट इज करेक्ट सुपर डिडक्शन तो एसेंशियली दे थॉट दैट Sign nobility. They used to just shorten it in front of people. S nob, and they'll just write yeah. S nob and well done, yeah. snob, snob or snobbish, snob. Okay, uh, Neville gets ten points for snob, and then we go to the last question. Is Kanan's direct? Kanan, you see a book on the screen called "Fluid Concepts and Creative Analogies: Computer Models of the Fundamental Mechanisms of Thoughts" by Douglas Hofstadter and the Fluid Analogies Research Group. This is a 1995 book exploring the mechanisms of intelligence through computer modeling. It contends that the notions of analogy and fluidity are fundamental to explain how the human mind solves problems and to create computer programs that show intelligent behavior. It analyzes several computer programs that members of the group have created over the years to solve problems that require intelligence. It was the first book ever dash just give me the blank or why is this book so important may i focus on dr hausacker is a legend uh truly that's going that's leonard hausacker of the big slip waiting for someone to point out <laughs> leonard uh, i have one answer but then that means your full question is a red herring Is this the first book ever sold on Amazon? Perfect. Yes, the full question yeah. was a red herring. Yeah, spent a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. is the first book ever sold on Amazon, nineteen ninety five. The first book sold on Amazon. Is you only bought it, or dude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas only bought it. <laughs> okay, cool. That brings us to the end of the second semi final. Kanan had thirty seven in the first half. In the second half, he got metal detector ten points. Ah, uh, ten for lobster, 
टेन फॉर ब्रेनी एक्ट टेन फॉर निगरोनी एंड टेन फॉर फर्स्ट बुक सोल्ड ऑन एमेजॉन फिफ्टी सो कनन विन्स द सेकेंड सेमीफाइनल विथ एटी सेवन पॉइंट एंड क्वालिफाइज फॉर द फाइनल Neville had thirty-seven in the first half. He got ten uh, for. <laughs> uh, he got ten for Piranhas, three for Catherine Hepburn, ten for Conan O'Brien, and ten for Snob. So thirty-three uh, plus thirty-seven. Neville uh, is the runner-up. Ends with seventy. Oh, no, no, no. Now we change. Now we change. Okay. 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 Let's okay. Come on. Give me Dallas. Okay. Oh. Uh, Rahul had five in the first half. In the second half, he got ten for fear of relatives. Rahul ends on fifteen points. Oh man! Hey, Rahul, Rahul comes third, which was his plan. So Rahul is third. No, I And wanted to be close third. Close <laughs> third. <laughs> Or close to the fourth. <laughs> close to the second. <laughs> And Saurav had six in the first half. Order in which? Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, And couldn't get anything in the second half. So Saurav ends on six. How dare you! <laughs> Did it get the anything? order in which you called in the order of the thing? Yeah. That's yeah, why I wasn't yeah. answering. I am That's giving Enter the Dragon answering. and Great Wall of China to myself. That twenty points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To myself. Yeah, yeah. Fair, 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 fair. Okay, fun party segment. Yes, thank you for reminding. Saurav has five points there. Neville has six points there. Kanan has ten points there. And give me fifteen minutes. I'll come back with Rahul. <laughs> 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 Rahul has twenty two points there. Like, oh my god! Competition <laughs> like all the other three combined uh, reach twenty one. Like and oh Rahul man. has twenty two. Two good Rahul. Well, thank good. you Rahul for being the most fun participant, and thank you for everything, and thank you Saurav for being part of this. And I'll see Kanan and Neville soon in the finale. So our four finalists are Rohan Joshi, uh, Kanan Gill, Neville Shah, and Surbhi Bagga. And give it up for Kumar Varun. Give it up for the mic chain. The host's mic. Give it up for the host, yeah. Come on. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, guys. All the best, Neville. All the best, Kanan. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, KB.